Well, Elon Musk, it seems, would agree with me on one, in fact, two important things. China leads the world when it comes to electric cars and renewable energy. Crazy, I know. And you know what? The reality is most people around the world have absolutely no idea of what is going on. That is, of course, unless they are tuned in to this channel. Hello, my friends. Welcome to The Electric Viking. to see you. As you can see, I'm not in the normal place I'm usually at because I'm over here in Bali. I'll be here for about uh, two weeks trying to get my head back in the surfing game. I used to surf every weekend and since I've been working on this channel, frankly, I just haven't had the time. That and taking my boys to BMX racing four or five days a week, it uh, takes all of my time. It's a simple fact, but at the same time, when English language reporting is scarce, on this reality, it's clear many people don't know about it. Few seem to realize that China is leading the world in renewable energy generation and electric vehicles. Whatever you may think of China, this is simply a fact, tweeted Elon Musk. Now, I should add that Xpeng CEO tweeted after this that he believes Elon Musk is wrong and China doesn't lead the world when it comes to these areas. He actually believes that China needs another 10 years before it will lead the world. Obviously, I think that's nonsense, complete rubbish. So I'm not even going to talk about it. Musk made this comment in response to a tweet from a Twitter user that showed China has the largest installed wind power capacity at 328,973 megawatts. I've reported on that fact as well. Um, I think most people weren't all that interested. Fair enough. I mean, you know, it is a big country. And yes, they do burn a lot of coal as well. However, that figure is 148% higher than the 132,738 megawatts of the United States, which is in second place. Germany was third with 63,760 megawatt. India fourth with only 40,000. Spain fifth with 27,500 and the UK sixth with 27,000. I should add though, that the world's largest wind generation farm is being built, the Dogger Bank, outside offshore of the UK. That's gonna be an enormous project which will approximately double the UK's current wind generating capacity that it has right now. Now, for those of you Aussies, Australia came in in 13th place. One of the reasons for that is, well, we have perfect conditions for solar in most places, solar does make more sense. Now, the thing is, right, China is leading when it comes to wind generation, but their lead is actually continuing to increase. It's not decreasing. By the end of April, China's installed wind power generation capacity was just 2.4 billion kilowatts, but that's an increase of 8% year on year. Now, other sources say that the installed capacity of wind power in China was about 140 million kilowatts. That's an increase of 18% from the same period last year. The installed capacity of solar power is about 320 million kilowatts. That's an increase of 24% year on year. So solar in China has gone, you can feel it fair to say pretty ballistic. This is a massive increase, 24% in one year. I did predict this, I've been saying this on the channel, that solar and wind generation would skyrocket over the next decade. By the end of this decade, the majority of global energy use worldwide would actually move to renewable energy. Why? One reason. Cost, cost, cost. Now, if you don't, want to, you don't believe me, that's okay. I totally understand. But what I want you to do, I'm going to put a link in the description below, to Singularity University. There's an excellent speech on there from a professor showing you the data of what's going on with renewable energy worldwide. He shows you how it's so much cheaper to install wind and solar now than simply to run existing coal power plants. This is awesome news, amazing stuff. What about cars? Well, as the world's largest automotive market by a big gap, China also maintains a leading position in the field of electric cars. And I mean, it's not even close. China sold three and a half million EVs last year. That's an increase of 160% year on year. That meant it ranked first in the world for the seventh consecutive year. I mean, that is complete domination. 
Add to that the fact that more than 50% of all EVs manufactured globally are fully electric and made in China. And you've got a recipe for what? Domination globally when it comes to manufacturing electric cars. It's happening. I've predicted it for a long time now. I know many of you have as well. Many of you agree with me. Many of you are saying, yeah, we know it's obvious. Some of you aren't. But anyway, according to an announcement by the China Association of Automobile Manufacturers, China sold three and a half million new energy passenger vehicles in 2021, which was an increase of 167.5%. Of those, the vast majority were fully electric, 2.75 million. China really leads the world, though, when it comes to one area that we often ignore, we don't talk about commercial electric vehicles. In 2021, Chinese manufacturers built and delivered nearly 200,000 commercial electric vehicles. Now, that was an increase of only 54% versus the previous year. One of the key reasons for that is all the batteries they can make are going into EVs for the everyday person. So what about Tesla? Well, Tesla obviously have a factory in Shanghai. And as I've reported recently, they are doubling the size of that factory. Yep, I did say that Rather than build a gigafactory somewhere else like Indonesia or India or wherever, Tesla would instead do the most logical thing, which was build a gigafactory in China or increase the size of the gigafactory in Shanghai. Now it seems as though they're going to double the size of Shanghai, and potentially double the size as well of gigafactory Berlin. I think that's very likely and it's the most logical thing to do. Rather than just doubling the size though in Shanghai, Tesla's actually going to build a new factory basically next door to their factory in Shanghai. And when you consider the fact that CATL, the world's largest battery manufacturer, are doing what? Well, they are building a gigafactory for, they haven't said this, but we all know what's going on, for Tesla, three kilometers down the road, which will provide Tesla with 70 gigawatt hours of probably lithium iron phosphate battery production per year. And you can see why Tesla would think it's a good move to keep on selling cars, in fact, to sell more cars from the one country where they make money from. We don't know if they make any money from the US. Before they moved to China, they didn't. So who knows if they do now, but they make a hell of a lot of money selling electric cars built in China. I believe this new factory is gonna help Tesla to increase manufacturing capacity to around 1.2 to 1.3 million electric cars per year. And Tesla have said that this will be the world's largest automotive manufacturing hub anywhere, period, the largest in the world. Now, this is what the Xpeng CEO said. I don't know about renewable energy generation. In other words, he couldn't be bothered looking it up or looking at the tweet or anything. I don't know why he couldn't be bothered, but anyway. But China is just at the forefront of the world in the electric vehicle sector. To lead the world, it is important to lead in the global market and win in business, in addition to leading in technology and products. To achieve those, at least 10 years of effort is needed. A decade ago, we had a similar feeling in mobile internet. But once the real technology was started, China's global leadership in mobile internet was not so high. Well, it seems to me, whether he's right or wrong is irrelevant. He's clearly driven. So are Chinese EV manufacturers. They are driven to succeed. They are driven to dominate. They wanna build EVs all over the world. In particular, of course, they want to dominate the electric car market. In fact, not just the electric car market, the car market in Europe. And of course, we now know North America, Australia, and the rest of the world as well. And boy, oh boy, are they motivated to make this happen. I can see it every single week, more cars from China are sold outside of China to other countries, whether that's Brazil, Thailand, or Europe or Australia. It's happening now, and Elon Musk knows exactly what he's talking about when it comes to China leading the world with electric cars and even renewable energy. Now, let me know in the comment section below what do you think of this. Controversial? Agree? Disagree? Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.